Greetings. Hello, you. Hi. Hi. Okay. So, who's who's that? Oh, it's yours. All right. Hi, everybody. We are back to review for our test. Now remember, this is going to be most of your grade for, for quarter four, so you really need to study on it. I'm going to do a super quick review. The first thing we learned was soycles, circles, soycles. Well, it's much more fun to say soycles. Okay. Circles. Now, what are the different parts of the circle? The radius, the diameter, which is two times bigger, times two, right? And then if you're going to the circumference, times pi which I think I might change one of the problems because I forgot to put a circumference problem on this review. Oops. So anyways, this is one way to think of it, right? Radius, then times two, diameter. And then from that, from the diameter, it's times pi, right? Get it, got it, get it, got it? You guys remember this now? You don't get it? You do get it, that's good, right? And here's another picture for you of radius, diameter, and circumference. Okay, so that's circles, except we didn't do the formula for area, which is radius times radius times pi. Oh my, radius times radius times pi. Oh my, radius times radius. Am I the only one doing it? Yeah. Ready? Radius times radius times pi. Oh my, radius times radius times pi. Oh my, okay, a couple people did it. Anyway, that's from the Wizard of Oz. Now remember, that's for the area, not for the circumference, right? The area. And if we look here, uh oh, there we go. We can see the area here, right? The area of a circle. Why is it radius times radius times pi? Because this is two times radius. Then we take half of that two times radius makes one radius, meow, meow, right? Remember this? So the area of this rectangle is radius times radius pi. So I know I just went over this really quickly, right? But this is how we find radius times radius times pi. Or you could do pi r squared. You two might have done pi r squared, okay? Same thing. All right, and then we talked about area. Remember, if it's two-dimensional, like a triangle, then that's going to be exactly half, right? Exactly half of the whole of the whole base time size. Remember this. Remember this. Remember this. But if it's if it's if it's three D, how many times does it pour into it? Three, right? So it's divided by three if it's three-dimensional. Okay, this is three-dimensional, so it's divided by three. Three of them fit inside the other one. All right, that's pretty much it. No, we had air surface area and volume too. See, there's a lot on this test, huh? I'm just going quickly. The area of one shape times how long it was extended. Except you divide by three if it's pointed at the top. Okay, so that was a very, very quick review. Now we're gonna do our review. Yay, all right. The first person, and I think we're gonna run out of time, but we're gonna try to go quickly. Our first person is Batman, coming from the Batcave. Let's hear for Batman. Okay, for Batman. Let's do that again. I want to see everybody clapping. Ready? Let's hear for Batman. Okay, good. All right, Batman. What color do you want? Blue. Blue? Okay, go ahead. How do we do it? So you multiply the base times the height. Right. 3.2 uh -huh. times 7. Uh -huh. And what do we get? 22.4. 22.4. Oh. Is that correct, everybody? Yup. Yeah. Yup. Meter squared. Are right. you going to do number 2 also? You also do base times height. Uh-huh. And then it's 6.7 times 6.7. Uh-huh. This is a square, right? Mm -hmm. With a decimal. Okay. And what do we get? 44.89 inches squared. 44.89 inches squared. Okay. Now, yeah, he's done. Good. 
All right, we might need to work on our clapping in here. Okay, now let's hear it for M and M's. Delicious chocolate M and M's melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Okay, M and M's. Well, let's hear it. How do we do this one? Eleven point one times eight point two. Yeah, now this one's a little bit weird because it's kind of turned, but this is the base, right, for this one. Now, if they could have given us the height like this, right, but they didn't, then that would have been the base. Does that sort of make sense? So our base is turned to the side, unfortunately, but that's okay. So what do we get? 91.2. Say it one more time. 91.2. 91.2. Are we done? No, and then 91.2 divided by 2 mm -hmm. equals 45.51. 45.51, and that is meters squared. All right, cool. Let's go on to the next one. Why do we divide? Because it's a triangle. Always got to divide by 2 on the triangle. Okay, that's when it's 3D. Yeah. 3D. 2D is divided by 2. 3D divided by 3. Thank you for asking because some other people probably needed that too. Okay, go ahead, sir. 7 times 5. For 4? We're doing 4. Yeah, 7. Say it again. For the top 7 times 5. Oh, I thought you said pi. Oh. No, okay. Okay. It's 7 times 5, not, not pi. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to write out top, bottom, left, right. Right, and then, and then, and then what? Front, back. So we got to get all the sides. All right. Okay, what we got? Okay, top is? The top is 7 times 5. 7 times 5, so 35. Bottom is the same. Let me do a different color. Okay, keep going. And then 5 times 5. Okay, 35, 35, and then left, right, is 25. 5 times 5, right is the same. And front is? 35. 7 times 5 again, so 35. And then back is same, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that are across from each other are always the same. Okay, if we add all of these up, we get? 190. 190 inches squared. Because that's what surface area means, is all of the outside added together, right? It's kind of like the shell. It's kind of like the perimeter, but it's 3D. The, the 3D perimeter, right? Right, 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 right. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. My class has been quiet today. All right. Are you doing 5 2? No, you're not. Okay, good job. Okay. The echo is coming up all the way from the mountains. The echo, 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 echo. All right, Mr. Echo. Oops, I just dropped my pen. Okay. Go ahead, sir. How do we do it? So first you do the top, so it's 5 times 7. Okay, so volume. So we're going to find the volume of one side. Now, it doesn't matter which one you choose, but he's doing the top. I'll do the side later, although we're really running out of time. Okay, so 7 times 2 is 14. No, so he's considering that his base, because it's base times height, right? So 14, now what? Um, we do that times 5. Right, because we want to say how far did it go? How far did they drag it? Times 5. And what do we get? Um, 70. 70 inches cubed. Don't forget the cubed. Although you're generally just going to be typing in the, uh, oops, you're just going to be typing in the number to Google form. So, all right. I don't have time to do it right now because we're rushing, but you could have also done this. I could do it super quick. 5 times 2 is 10, and then times 7, right? So you could also have done it that way. doesn't matter which you choose for your first side. Okay, number 6. For number 6, we do um, 10 times 12, which is 120. Right, that is your bottom base. The absolute, the absolute height is 11, so it would be that times 11. Good, which is? Um, 440. Or sorry, no, no. That is thir thir 1,320 right. divided now, by 3. that's this thing, if it would have been a box, but it's not a box. It's got the points on it, so we have to divide by... 3. 3, just like the water filled it up 3 times, right? Okay, so once we divide by 3, we get 440, which you said already, right? Mm -hmm. Kilometers cubed. Good job. All right. Now it's Connor Meister coming from LA. Connor, 
Okay, how do we do number seven? All right, so you got to find the diameter, diameter. And, the, and the radius is eight. Yep. So you do eight times eight, and that equals 16. Or eight plus eight. Eight 16. plus eight, or eight times two, right? Yeah, eight times yeah. two. That's I, would, times I would say times two, but either way is the same, right? Eight, four, eight times two, 16. So it's meters. Okay. All right. Now it's not squared because we're not finding an area. We're just finding the length. Okay. Now, why? Because we're finding the diameter which is all the way across. And that's times two. It's two times bigger. Okay. Fine. You can go to the YouTube video and look at our review too in our notes. Okay. Now area. What's the, what's the formula everybody for area? Radius, 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 radius times, times radius, radius times five. So Connor, go ahead. All right, so the diameter is 24, mm -hmm. so we divide that by 2. Yeah, we have to divide by 2 or we don't have the radius. So now, radius times radius, radius times pi is? Uh, 452.16. 12 times 12 times 3.14. Yep, yep, say it again. Uh, 452.16. 452.16. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah, that's right. 452.16. Okay, next one. Uh... It's, uh, so the radius is 4, uh -huh. so 4 times 4 times 3.14 uh -huh. equals 50.24. 50.24, hey, that was quick. All right, <laughs> good. No, we're rushing. Can you do it quick, our last person? Yeah. Oh, wait, we, we did 9 without you. Uh-oh, uh, I think we did the wrong one. Yeah. You think you could do 10? Yeah. Yeah, okay, how do we do it? Okay, so you have to do 6 times 4 to get 24 right. for the triangle, and then divide it by 2 because it's a triangle to get 12. Right, and then okay, both we're going the, so quick. Good. So both, this one's 12. Yeah, both of the triangles are 12. And this is also 12. 12. Okay, now what? And then for the square, 4 times 4 to get 16. Very good. And then add all of them up to get 40. Exactly. We add these three up, we get 40. Centimeters squared. Boy, that was quick. Okay, but you guys can watch the YouTube video over and over again. Thank you. Hi, YouTube. Hi. Hi. You're supposed to say bye really loud. Bye. Bye.